Hello, people of Iowa. This is the National Weather Service in Des Moines giving you a quick update on the severe weather threat for both today and Saturday. So like I just said, there is a severe weather threat going on both today and tomorrow. Uh, so the main things you want to watch out for, especially for today, is going to be damaging winds, large hail, and even an isolated tornado or two. And then as we shift into Saturday, the primary threats are going to turn towards damaging winds and the potential for some large hail. And as we'll take a look here in the next couple of sli slides, we'll take a look at the, the primary threat areas. So for today, you can see a large chunk of the state is under an enhanced risk for severe weather. And then pretty much the rest of the state is within a, a slight risk. So again, timing wise, we're talking for the afternoon and well into the evening hours. And then as we shift towards Saturday, you can see the threat has moved or does move off to the southeast. So a lot of southern and southeast Iowa is within the enhanced risk and then portions of kind of central, southeast and even northeast, excuse me, southwest and northeast Iowa are within a slight risk or a marginal risk. Again, for the primary threats here are going to be damaging winds and hail and primarily through the afternoon and early evening hours. So once again, we are looking at a severe weather threat both today and tomorrow with really all modes of severe weather in play today and then primarily damaging wind and hail uh, tomorrow being Saturday. Timing wise, backing up today, it's going to be late afternoon through the evening hours and then Saturday is going to primarily be afternoon into the early to mid evening hours. As always with any severe weather, uh, impacts can include property damage, power outages, uh, injuries uh, to, to oneself and others. Uh, and then obviously if you have any outdoor events, it becomes very, very important to pay attention to the weather. So as always, there's a number of places you can get your information from. Storm Prediction Center there in the top left, our website there in the top right. And then we do actually have a decision support page dedicated just to severe weather that you are encouraged to visit. Here are a few other outlets you can get us at. Again, our webpage, also Facebook, Twitter, and then obviously this video we do post on YouTube. So once again, this was the National Weather Service just giving you that quick update. As always, please stay safe.